It's my feel good breakfast show. We are getting set for all the action down in Belito. Yes, welcome back as we get steady to cross to the Belito Pro, one of the biggest stops on the Challenger Series calendar. And Ryan has got the latest with the people who count. Thank you so much, G-Man. And oh, Zanzi, look at my office for the morning. We're out here at the beautiful Belito and we're about to talk about this incredible competition. It's the Belito Pro and I'm here with the organizer herself. It's Colette Bundy and uh, Colette. This is incredible. I mean, look at this occasion. Look at the weather. Absolutely fantastic. What can we expect from the competition this week? So there's so much on the go. Other than the surfing, we have a full festival that uh, supports the event. But we've got the men's top 96 surfers coming, the 64 top women. And then in the festival, we have beach recreational activities. We have music concerts. We have a lot of retail going on, many things. Oh, everywhere. it sounds so exciting. And I know I'm going to dive into a lot of it right now. Yes. But there's one thing that I'm trying to find out, because I know this is an epic competition. It's the Belito Pro. But on top of that, it also forms part of the Challenger Series, right? Yes. What exactly is that? How does it work? Yes, yeah, so exact, uh, the Challenger Series is one of eight. And we are the number th third one on this. Essentially, the surfers, they... Um, they surf for points. Surfers so, and uh, supporters. So unfortunately, <laughs> we're going to hear some announcements here. Just excuse the sound. But they the surf for points, 10,000. And that gets them so onto the World Championship eight, Tour. Five, so eight, like eight, I said, we are the third one on one of eight. One, and um, we are six, able to afford 10,000 points to the surfers. Beautiful. Now, Mzanzi, if you're listening to the announcement right now, you'll definitely hear that. It looks like the comp is going to be on. It looks like there is going to be some surfing action. So that means, yay, we get to watch some magic, of course. But on top of this also, last year I believe that the competition didn't have a lot of international representation. This year, however, 15 countries are being represented. How's that voting for the comp? So um, it's really good for us because, you know, for the comp itself, having the internationals back, but also for the region from an economical um, point of view, from economics and tourism, it is really great to have people back, internationals back. Last year, with COVID, we weren't able to have internationals, so it was just a local event. But that was very good for the locals because we were able to get a lot of locals these? onto the Challenger yeah, series. So it did, it did benefit both ways. Uh, and on top of that, I believe this is one of the most exceptional competitions, especially this year. 64 women are competing at this event today or for the entire week. That is incredible for me, especially when it comes to representation for women in the sport. I love it. I'm here for this. How does that vote for this competition as well in terms of the growth that is happening? Yes. Well, it's a huge growth because essentially we uh, historically only had a QS 1000 and that was predominantly just South African s surfers. Um, and now with it being on a challenger series, we're getting 64 of the top South Africans. Uh, sorry, are the top world surfers, yeah. but what it is doing, it's leveling the playing fields between the men and the women. And it's giving the women a chance to, in terms of development, to get onto the same level. I absolutely love it. Colette, thank you so much for introducing me to all this magic. I'm going to definitely dive into this a bit deeper. So, Mzanzi, stand by. We're coming at you live. We've got so much magic to get through. There's some fitness happening. I'm going to chat to some of the former contestants, as well as find out a little bit about the weather that is going on here right now. So, I cannot tell you anything other than stay tuned. We'll See you in just a bit and uh, oh, enjoy this magic. <laughs>